Hello. Now, earlier on, I made some Thai green curry paste and I forgot to put the garlic in and I had to rush back and put it in. But I also realise now that I forgot to put shallots in and lime leaves. So I've chopped them up and I'm going to put those in now. I've got three shallots here. And two lime leaves, one was quite big, one was quite small. Ah, oh. Just a little bit. To touch. Yummy. Oh, it um, mm, yum. Oh, I've got some um, I've got a splash on the camera. Luckily not on the lens, but just there on my camera. Um. Oh. Right. Okay. Now I'm just going to skin my fish for my Thai green curry. Um, just started it off a bit there. Now. Start it off a bit there. Now what I do is I waggle the, the skin rather than the knife. Comes off nice and easy, like that. Do that. Right, I'm just going to use these thicker bits. I'm going to keep this a bit for something else. Right, my Thai green curry paste, I'm going to put in first of all, I'm to get it done, it's probably a bit high at heat I think. Put it on a rapid thing, but then it doesn't sniff for the camera really. Um, Just really to sort of release the um, enzymes, flavours, uh, and um, just sort of get it started. Mm. Oh, this smells so good. Now I've got some mushrooms. I'm going to put those in first. before I do the fish. Right, so letting the mushrooms and that sort of heat. And I'm gonna put the do the fish in this bit here. Probably should put a bit of oil in. Actually oh shit, I shouldn't have the handle sticking out like this, but um right, there for safety. Then what I'm going to do is rub it into the um, thigh green paste before I put the creamy bit of the milk in. So I like to get it the flavour in. I like to get the flavour into the flesh. The paste. This fish takes a bit longer than the prawns and the mussels. This is a haddock. It's a bit cheaper, quite a lot cheaper than COS, which is very similar. Now I'm 
going to crack the milk, which is when you take the this top bit off, creamy bit, and it separates. Right. <sighs> the prawns have gone pink now, so that's okay. So let's turn this down a little bit and um, add the, the rest of the milk, the uh, more liquidy bit. Actually, <laughs> let's incorporate those into the um, paste first and the mushrooms. Let's incorporate those together. I really can't multitask. I'm trying to film when I'm sort of cooking. It's a bit awkward. I have mild Asperger syndrome and multitasking can be a bit of a problem for us. I'm cooking a lot too bad at multitasking, but um, it's a bit difficult with the camera. Concentrate on that and stuff. Um, right. Right now I've given that a couple of minutes, so I'm going to put in so the um, the lime, more chilies a bit of red, half a red chilli, half a there, and fish sauce, that's salty, and I've got my coriander as well, coriander leaves now. Now, lots of people think the Thai green curry is meant to be creamy. Well, that's sort of the Western way, but yeah, it's actually meant to be quite soupy. I don't know, <laughs> got the right consistency here, but I like it either way. I have it this way today. Mmm. I'm eating the stalks here. Mmm. Coriander. I don't even see me. Probably couldn't see me doing that. <laughs> no. I was using my stalks. Mmm. <laughs> mm. mm. Alright, now I have. Oh dear, this place is a mess. Some rice. I've had it and kept warm. I'm not over keen on the Thai rice, so I've got Indian basmati. Usually I have brown rice, but in Tesco they're out of it today. And um, annoyingly, they um, don't have the easy cook anyway. Ah, oh, coriander. Leaves, that is. I'm going to put the rest of the rice in. I know I'm going to eat it all. I eat loads. Now I've got this belly. neat does it? Turn this off. I'm sure that's fine now. Right, let's add some more rice.
Quite a bit of juice in there because when I have the rest tomorrow, I will need the juice to cook it and heat it up. Now, I did make enough for like two or three people, but I'm on my own tonight eating it. I was going to have my friends pull around and he was going to have some as pull baby girl. So, pull baby girl, I am having some nice Thai green curry fish. And you're not. Mmm. 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 Oh, wow. Mmm. Oh, wow. It's mm, like a rollover of all these different flavours. Wow. It's not just one flavour, it's all the different ingredients I can taste there. It's like a roller coaster of flavour. Mm. Oh, I hate it when the prawns go so small when you cook them. Mmm. Oh. Mm. How small it is now compared to when it was raw. Now I'm Deborah of More to Deborah. Now, what More to Deborah is about is showing that there's more to Deborah, me, than the bear. The bear, lots of you probably know bear sack, but lots of you don't. Bear sack, unfortunately, I no longer have. He was taken from me. I was in Tanzania in December last year, 2011. And um, he was waving from the window of a train, just leaving the village of King Anguru. And this man grabbed him. He's got like a protruding muzzle. The um, bear sack is not, not the man. And um, the man grabbed bear sack. And I no longer have him, but he's famous. Check out bearsack.com. No K, just the C. This is bear sack up here. painted by an old colleague of mine, Ellen, for my 37th birthday many years ago. And this is Bear Sack here as well, painted by Gina Gold, Bold, Gina Bold, who we met on the London Underground. And that is what remains of Bear Sack. That is one of his straps. He's a, ru he's a rucksack and I was holding his straps and he got pulled off his straps. I lost one of the straps though. So. Please leave me, leave me to my food now. Thank you. <laughs>